10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Hugh Rimmington. Good evening. Well, less than three years into the job, Premier Mike Baird has suddenly quit without even warning his most senior colleagues. In fact, he stunned everyone. But he is leaving without the stench of scandal or the bloody leadership battles we've come to expect in New South Wales politics. He says it is all about family. Well, Catalina Flores begins our coverage tonight from State Parliament. Catalina, he was initially seen as a breath of fresh air, but he has racked up some enemies in more recent times. Well, he has, Hugh, especially in the last year, leading to accusations that he's cutting and running on the stake. Now, Mike Baird has repeatedly said he would recontest the 2019 election, but he made it clear today that he only made the decision a few weeks ago, saying that he's achieved what he wanted and he's confident in the team that he's leaving behind. But as one minister told me today, this business is unfair and unforgiving, so who can blame him? Always the reluctant Premier, Mike Baird calls time on his political career. I wanted to go as hard as I could for as long as I could uh, and then step aside. Well, today I am making good uh, on that pledge. The 44th leader of the state retiring after a decade in politics to spend more time with his family. His dad Bruce is recovering from open heart surgery. His mum Judy has muscular dystrophy and sister Julia is dealing with cancer again. At times I have been uh, in pain and uh, not being able to spend the time uh, that I should. The former banker says he's always wanted to make a difference and he believes he has to the economy, in education, health and... And infrastructure, I think, is the, the hallmark uh, of the government. Uh, this state will never be the same again. But his decision comes after a horror year of policy missteps, backflips and the loss of one of the coalition's safest seats. He went from being the most popular politician in the country to recording the biggest fall in net satisfaction of any state premier in news poll history. Does it disappoint you that you might be seen as not leaving at the top of your game? You know, I've given my best. I've given my all. I mean, there is, there is nothing left. In a slap to his federal and state counterparts, he nominates his biggest regret as not getting anywhere on the GST debate. Now that's probably the, the thing that frustrated me the most. I think... You know, there was a big opportunity there to do something very significant. But from the Prime Minister today, it was only praise. You've played a great innings and we thank you for it. And from former Prime Minister and surfing buddy Tony Abbott, regret. I'm very sorry that he's gone. We've seen too many Prime Ministers. We've seen too many Premiers and I think the public yearn for stability. While he always said he was never in it for the long haul, this tweet, I'm retiring from politics, it's been an honour to serve you, New South Wales, caught many off guard. I found out uh, through the media. It's a shock not just for me as the leader of the National Party, it's been a shock for the people of New South Wales. I think not many saw this coming. Everybody found out this morning via a written statement. Disappointed uh, for the state uh, more than anyone, but I wish him and his family well. I want to wish Mike Baird and his lovely family all the best for the future. Closing another chapter in a tumultuous period on Macquarie Street. To everyone uh, in New South Wales, thank you. It's been a privilege and uh, I look forward to seeing you whenever I see you. Thanks. Now, Hugh, as for what's next for Mike Baird, he says he doesn't know yet, but it'll probably involve a return to the private sector, opening his seat to a by-election. He does know that he doesn't want to go to federal politics. His number one priority now is spending time with his family and coaching his son's soccer team. As for the party, it'll be meeting here on Monday morning to select its new leadership team, which at the moment is firmly behind Gladys Berejiklian as Premier and Dominic Perrottet as her deputy. Hugh? Live from State Parliament, Catalina Flores, thank you. Well, the son of a former Deputy Premier, Mike Baird, was determined to leave his...